of the time, we are studying music of different cultures. It's pretty rare that we ever do something in English, actually. Um, most of the time, it's common we do Latin songs um, from the Renaissance. It's common that we do songs from Africa. We've done Japanese pieces. We even did a Polish piece this semester. Yes, I um, always choose music um, from different countries, different languages, because I've been studying different languages, and so I'm not afraid of you know, singing in a different language. Yeah. As, a, as a singer, not only as a singer, but also a conductor. And then I'm interested in the different culture, always. So, um, yes, that's a, a, like a big influence. I assume before I joined that it would be sort of uh, the typical genre of music that choirs normally do, but um, we actually ended up doing a lot more pieces from other languages and cultures than I thought that we would be, and I've really enjoyed doing really involved when I'm doing music from different cultures. Um, last time that we just did a Polish piece and I'm actually Polish and um, so that was really interesting to like hear like my native tongue and like learn the, like the song really well. And then this semester we're doing a song um, in French and um, I speak French so like I'm really excited about singing that and trying to just get everything perfect. But I always feel really connected to the songs and I've always loved learning about different cultures and I feel like music is like one of the biggest things that you can learn Say, about. Learning other pieces like Hebrew, Polish, things I don't know anything about, like I've never learned the language, never been there, don't have any friends or whatever, completely separate from me. Um, I'd say probably, like normally I would feel like four and the song like, you know, learning the song and having the, like looking at the translation and being taught how to pronounce everything and stuff, um, it makes me feel a lot closer to that culture in a way that you wouldn't normally be able to unless you traveled there. taken by music. I, I think we all live our lives by music so that when we hear something from a different culture, it embodies that culture. Um, for example, I guess like a lot of African music is really upbeat and moving and, and you can just kind of like feel the expression that they're trying to like pronounce just through, through their music and so when you get to like listen to that and hear it, you get to kind of embody it yourself and you kind of imagine like how you would like be singing within their culture so you try to like embody that and then try to like put it out through your own voice and so like I've always felt like like singing other cultures songs are really really interesting and like the best way to like learn about the culture and, and to kind of express what they're trying to say I guess. Latin, we did like Polish music this semester and music tells me to understand the meaning it's so always like, you know, um, I understand, okay, I feel music, um, hmm, what composer meant um, or in, wanted to include um, his musicality or I just feel music without really thinking about the words or text. Yeah. So that's nothing, you know, it's hmm, different from the language, um, it's always just music tells me how to, how to interpret. Do you think that the audience can? I think so, yeah. yes.
Um, because, for example, you listen to Japanese music in here, and then you kind of like you feel the uh, you feel the culture, right? Probably it's maybe not the culture, but you you may feel the difference, something different. You cannot tell what it is, but you feel the difference. I feel like if you ever sing something or especially perform something, you have to do some sort of research. So. Whether or not you don't know anything about the song, at least when you get it, you will learn something about it eventually. <coughs> so there is that kind of concept of the universal language that music is. I mean, people who are listening to you can kind of feel what you're talking about, but if you're singing it, you, you, it's kind of impossible to not learn anything about the culture that it's from yeah. without you perform. Like the, the, um, the, or on a piece in a different culture, and the music, again, music tells students that the difference between like Western music and uh, Asian music. And also, when I pick up something like I talk about the culture or um, um, mm, like background of the music or different scales and stuff like that. So it's, um, it's an education, well, this choir is an education class. So always, you know, uh, learning different culture is kind of a part of the education. So I pick up something, um, always pick up uh, the variety of music to teach culture.